everybody. Uh, my name is Julie Burgundy, and I am the public education coordinator at the Dolan Institute of Politics. And we're just seeing how Facebook is uh, getting ready to go. And let me just make sure that is moving. And I see you guys. Very cool. Uh, well, if you were with us last week, then you saw this really cool picture of the outside of the Dole Institute. And you already told me that we have this beautiful American flag and we have a pond and it reflects into uh, to see the flag at night, especially. And then who are we named after? We are uh, Senator Robert J. Dole from Kansas. And we also house Senator Elizabeth Dole uh, archive materials too. So we're his and her archive. And last week we talked about what is an archive and also a lot about the American flag. And we learned a little bit about Senator Dole and you got a backstage tour of the archives here. So remember all those boxes and boxes and boxes? That's right. Well, today our program is gonna be all about sports. Are you guys excited? What is your favorite sport? Hmm, yeah, lots to choose from, don't we? We have football, basketball, baseball, softball, golf. We'll see uh, some items from, from golf today as well. So as we uh, talk today, I want you to think about what sports do you play? And also, what is your favorite sport too? And you notice I'm in a different location. I'm still at the Dole Institute, still check, making sure everything is, is going well here at the museum and the archives. But I, you may notice a different picture behind. Now, this is a very special town that is close to Senator Bob Dole's heart. And I want you guys to help figure me out, this, this town out. And so I'm gonna flip you around for just a second. Let me get to here. And I am standing near the front door of the Dole Institute. And as you come into the door, you see this giant rectangle. And it's made of this pink tannish granite. But this is not any ordinary rectangle. This is actually, what do you see up here? Hmm. That line looks pretty familiar. Have you ever looked at a map before? Hmm, what state are we in right now? Kansas? That is correct. We are in the great state of Kansas. And that line up there is taken out by the river. But otherwise, we are a rectangular shape, except in our northeast corner. And there are three dots on this map of Kansas that are important. We have Lawrence right here. And hey, look, that's a picture of the Dole Institute. That's where we are right now in Lawrence, Kansas. And there's another dot that says Topeka. What is cool about Topeka? It's where all of our laws are made. So yes, that is the capital of Kansas. So it's about 30 minutes from Lawrence. But if we go more to the middle of Kansas, we see another dot. What does this one say? It says Russell and has a picture of a house. That gives us a clue. So Russell, what is significant about Russell, Kansas? Flipping you back here. And uh, if you've never been to Russell, that's okay. Because I want you to look behind me. Now I know since the sun's kind of coming in, it's a little washed out on your uh, Facebook live feed. But I bet you can see that thing on the left. That big, tall, brown thing. What do you think that is? Yeah, and what do you think the the forefront foreground there with the, the browns and the tans and the gold. Hmm, I bet that is crops being 
planted of corn and wheat to make grains and flour. And that big brown thing, you figured that out yet? That is a windmill um, to bring up uh, water from the ground or make more energy. And you may not be able to see it as well, but there is a main street of Russell, Kansas down there. So that is very important to Senator Dole. This is where he grew up. And today we're gonna to be talking all about sports. So we're gonna be talking about the sports that he played at Russell High School when he was in school. And also about the sports that he played here at the University of Kansas here in Lawrence. Uh, so I asked you about your favorite sports. And one of my favorite sports is basketball. Now today is a happy day and a sad day because today should be the day that the University of Kansas men's basketball team is going for our national championship. As you know, KU is pretty good at basketball. And today would have been the date of the national championship game for the 2020 uh, NCAA basketball tournament. But we know with all of this stuff going on, that got uh, canceled. But it's a pretty cool thing about that tonight would have been the day that uh, KU went for that national championship. But we're going to be talking about sports and especially basketball, especially since it's my favorite. And so I'm going to show you a few pictures and then show you some objects today from the archives. And uh, I'm going to uh, first talk about Russell. So we said that Senator Dole graduated from Russell High School as a three-sport athlete in May of 1941. So as we look at the beautiful Russell stained glass window, we're gonna be thinking about all this time spent in Russell there. And as I mentioned, I do have a few photos for you. And so Russell starts with the letter R. And so here we have a Russell letter and it has three different sports on it. Can you guys recognize which sports are being portrayed on this letter? What about that top left one? That kind of looks like a, a football. Good. What about that bottom left one, the round one? Remember, that's one of my favorite sports. The basketball, good. And it looks like he has three lines next to the basketball one. So that means he lettered in three different years at Russell High School. And for the football on the top left, we have two stripes. That means he lettered uh, in two different years for Russell football. And then the bottom right on the leg of the R has something a little weird. You may or may not have seen it before. It looks like a foot with wings. Hmm, I wonder what sport that is. I bet that means we should run really fast. So yes, that is the track symbol. So a young Bob Dole ran for, uh, lettered at least three times in track. So that means he was pretty fast. So that is the Russell letter. And here is a close up of one of the medals that he received while he was in high school. And this is also for track. You can see the guy running right there. And on the back, it says 440 yard dash, 1941. So he won, uh, he, he ran a, a race really, really fast. Sorry, he ran a race really fast and he won this medal. And here's another medal. And if we look really close up on it, it looks like it says Kansas State High School Activities Association in the circle there. And it says regional championships. And do you see the guy at the bottom? Does he look like he's running really fast? Yeah. And on the back of that one, it also says 1941 Class A. 440 yards. So I think if I were to make an inference that a young Bob Dole's best race that he was in was the 440 yard dash. Now we were talking about track, but I mentioned there was two more sports on that letter that we discovered, uh, on that fabric letter. 
And this is another sport. Do you know what it is? Looks like some guy's running, but he's on a certain field. And looks like there's a referee there. And it kind of looks like they're wearing helmets. And I know it's pretty hard to see, but if we were to zoom in on that guy in the very middle, that looks like he has a football in his hand, I bet that would be a young Bob Dole. And so, yes, this is Bob Dole uh, on the University of Kansas football team in uh, about 1941 to 1943. And so we talked about his Russell High School time, and we, he was a football, basketball track. And he actually continued that at the University of Kansas in Lawrence. And he, he came to KU in Lawrence in the fall of 1941. And then he departed in the spring of 1943 to serve our country in the United States military. And so he spent two full years here at KU. And here on the football team, he was an end player and he earned a varsity letter in the fall of 1942 for his, his playing time. And then here's another picture. Here's a, another sport that we just discussed of being on the track team. So he's running a race here. And can you guys pick out which one is a young Bob Dole there? I bet it's the guy winning the race. So on the far right, you can see the guy winning the race. That is a uh, young Bob Dole. And this is here at the University of Kansas campus. And so if you've ever been to a football game or went to the KU campus, you might recognize some things here. The track that he is running on is a dirt track. And at this point, it's called McCook Field. But over time, that changed. And this is now the location of Memorial Stadium, where the football uh, team plays right now. And if you look up on the hill, especially on the far right, there's a building. And if you have ever visited KU, that is called Strong Hall. That is our administration building. And a lot of KU students uh, have passed by that building every day. And so this is before the Campanile was built. The Campanile is the big bell tower. This is before that was built. And also before Spencer Research Library was built uh, on the back end of Strong Hall. And uh, so he earned a letter, a KU letter in track in 1943, and he ran the 220 yard and the 440 yard dash. Now here is my favorite sport of basketball. And this is a picture while he's in high school and he's getting ready for a shot. And then here is a better picture of him with his high school basketball coach and another teammate. Do their uniforms look a little different from what we see basketball players wearing today? Yeah, especially look at those knee pads. <laughs> and the sneakers and those shorts. If you think it's cool to look at old photographs, I definitely want you to tune in next time on Wednesday when we uh, look at different photographs from the archive. So you guys are getting a sneak peek today. So here he's on the Russell basketball team. And then here he is at the University of Kansas basketball team. And so he played on the basketball team from 1941 to 1943. And do you see the gentleman on the far left with the suit on? the suit and the tie on the far left of this photograph. That is actually a pretty cool person and his name is Fog Allen. And we spell that P-H-O-G, Fog Allen. So if you've ever been to Allen Fieldhouse or a basketball game uh, it, today or this season, uh, we call it the Fog Allen Fieldhouse and the Fog Allen Court. Uh, so he was recruited, so a young Bob Dole was recruited by Coach Fogg Allen all the way back as a freshman in high school. And so at that point, uh, Bob Dole did play football, basketball, and track. And of course he was a basketball player, but Allen actually recruited him more as a leader. Not so much for his 
uh, playing abilities because he was pretty good, but he uh, a young Bapadol was not a star on the basketball team. But Fog Allen really recruited him for his leadership capabilities. And there is actually some letters that got sent from Fog Allen to uh, a young Bob Dole in Russell, Kansas at, in, while he was in high school. So this is January 28th, 1938. Fog Allen writes, uh, we all agreed that you definitely had an apparent purpose in you. And that purpose was to make something out of yourself and to serve the public in the best way possible. We all hope that you will continue to go forward. And from that, we, from what you say, we are, sure you, we are sure that you will. He continues, I tell all my boys before they graduate from college that the fun in basketball playing should be in high school and in college. After that, a fellow should give up basketball playing as a main attraction and enter, center all of his energies and enthusiasm on his life's work. I know that the boss is paying a fellow's salary for the main work that he's expected to do, but would much rather see him put his energies into his bread and butter job. So in this letter, Fog Allen is describing to uh, a young Bobby Dole that uh, he should continue his his uh, classes and become a better basketball player, but in the end, to still serve our country and uh, be the best public servant that he can. So Alan knew uh, Dole would become a leader. As I mentioned, he uh, Dole played on the uh, basketball season his freshman year. He was on the freshman team. And then the soft, his second year, sophomore year, he played on the varsity team. That's where this picture was uh, taken. But technically, he did not play in a game in his sophomore season. Uh, but this is the same season that they won the Big Six champions. So on the bottom, it says, Ever Victorious Big Six Champions, 1943. And so that letter that I just read is actually from archives at the KU Library System. So uh, in the comments, I'll be posting that link if you'd like to continue on. Now, another thing that I want to show you is some of those items that we have here in the museum. So let's start over here, and we see that letter that we had a picture of earlier. So we got football, basketball, and track. And this is pretty cool. This is the football program while he's in high school. And if we get really close on this and try to get the glare off of it, on the far right, where it says Russell, there's a whole bunch of names. Do you see an R Dole on there? I think his number is number 40. Do you see that? R Dole, number 40. So this is the football program. And remember, he went to KU to move to Lawrence. And we have his KU sweater, his letter sweater. So we have the big K right there. And then we have also this funny looking hat. I think that hat is pretty cool. Now, I also went deep into the archives and the special collections. So the special collections are the objects and things that we see. And I found all of these cool objects. First, I want to start out with this football. And it looks like it's a KU Jayhawk football. And it is really old, so we do need to be very careful with it. But what do you see on the background of, the, of this white on the football? What do you see? Are those signatures? Did somebody write on this football? That is correct. That is signatures from a team, a football team. And then we also have some baseball things. Like this is a signed baseball and it says, to Senator Dole, thank you for showing us what hard work, persistence, dreams, and enthusiasm can do. 11 and under, NBC, 2001, World Series, third place champions. 
the Russell Chill. So the Russell Chill is a uh, peewee baseball team in Russell, Kansas, and they won third place in the World Series, the Little League World Series, I think. So signed baseball from that. We also have a Dole Kemp football here. And here's golf, also makes an appearance in the sports. We have Dole for president. We have a baseball from Mount Rushmore National Memorial. So on the side there, you can kind of see Mount Rushmore upside down. <laughs> then we also have this medal. Do you recognize that medal? That is the same medal that we saw a photograph of earlier. And the reason why I want to show you a photograph is it's kind of hard to see all the details right here. That's why I showed you a photograph. Then we also have these cool coins. And what sport are they playing on the left? Do you see that? What sport do you think that is? We've talked about it already. That is the sport of basketball. And then the sport on the right we've also talked about, which is where you run a lot. And that is track and field. And both of these coins are from the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. So these are commemorative coins that was given to Senator Dole. So we have those in uh, the special collections. And then going back to football, we have some more football programs that we, we saw. So 1937 uh, program, 1942 season. These are just uh, from Russell. Not that Senator Dole played in, uh, especially the 1942 season, because that's when he was already at KU. And then here we have a tie. And if we get real close up on it, we see a Jayhawk. And we also see a basketball goal. And on the left half, it says 1898. And it looks like that basketball goal is made of a peach basket. And on the right, it says to 1998. So that's 100 years of Kansas basketball. So that's a pretty cool tie. And we also have this larger object. And this is a statue of Kevin Saunders. And Kevin Saunders is an athlete who, who um, Competed in the Special Olympics, and you can see his USA there. And this, if we read the back of it, it says, Sculpture uh, Neil Anderson has captured the spirit of world champion wheelchair athlete Kevin V. Saunders. In this inspiring tribute to the, B, to the first person with a disability to be appointed to the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. So there's lots of objects in the archives that deal with sports. And we're gonna be talking about uh, disabilities and specifically Americans with Disabilities Act in a future program. So be sure to check back for that. So I'm gonna show you one more thing. We go back to some of those photos. Sorry if I'm going quick through this. I want to give it to another one. <laughs> so we saw the football, we saw the track, basketball. So this is where we ended. But we also have things like from Kansas City Royals. So we, uh, Kansas City Royals won the World Series in 2015. So we love our Kansas City Royals. There's just a fancy picture of that football that I showed you on the table. And then also, when the museum reopens, I invite you to come and do a scavenger hunt here in the gallery. And you can even pick out spot the sport scavenger hunt. And so a few of these things you've already seen. You've seen that, uh, that big letter R that's on the left. 
you've seen a picture of him on the basketball team and uh, running a track. Oh, and you've also seen a picture of that football. So you're ar almost uh, halfway done with the scavenger hunt too. <laughs> so I invite you to uh, come visit us when we reopen and find all these cool sports things in the museum. And here is another sport that is being displayed, and this is golf. Now, usually we play golf on a big golf course, but sometimes we can play in a mini golf area. And this is actually the Dole Institute mini golf. And this is a picture from an event from last year called the Easter Egg Roll with Dole. And sadly, we will not be having the Easter Egg Roll uh, this coming Saturday due to uh, the coronavirus, but I invite you to definitely come visit us next Easter, uh, and you can even play the dole hole here, <laughs> this miniature golf of uh, a facade of the Dole Institute. So uh, we've seen some cool objects today, and we've talked about what sports uh, Senator Dole was involved in. And I want to think of what sports do you know the rules to? Do you know how to play basketball, or football? I bet you can run really, really fast. Now, something I want you to do this week, uh, if you are looking for some games to play, I want you to create your own game. Uh, I want you to create the rules. It, maybe it will have a ball in it. Maybe it will be using things that you can find outside in your yard. Maybe you can do some yard bowling with some pine cones or something. But I want you to create a game and uh, make your family members, maybe your siblings, your parents, try to play it with you. Now, another activity I have is uh, some KU sports pictures to color. So we have some cool coloring pages and I'm gonna post the link to that in the comments. And these are gonna be like uh, Big J and Baby J playing sports. Uh, and these are all from the KU Alumni Network and also KU Athletics. And so I'll post those in the comments right after we get done with here. And so I invite you to join us next time on Wednesday, and we're gonna be talking about photographs. And so you are gonna become a history detective and figure out all the clues of a photograph and why it's important to look for all those clues and what they can tell us. Because did you know you can read a photo even if there's no pictures? Yeah, so join us next time to become a history detective. All right, uh, see you later. <laughs>